China putting the brakes on the world's biggest IPO. Ant Group's listing in both Shanghai and Hong Kong have been suspended. The Shanghai Exchange citing major issues, quote. For more, let's go to Hong Kong. Bloomberg's Asia Investing Editor, Lulu Chen, joining us now from Hong Kong. What do we know? What's going on? Yeah, this is unprecedented. Right now, as, uh, as, uh, as of now, what we've been told is that the regulators are asking Ant uh, for um, a regulatory um, revision of the company that they went in. Jack Ma was called in for supervisory interviews by related agencies like the Central Bank and China Securities Watchdog. Um, as for what it means for the IPO, both the Hong Kong and Shanghai leg has been suspended. Um, what we've been told is that banks are giving back money to retailers. And if Ant needs to, uh, wants to proceed with an IPO ever again in Hong Kong, they will have to relaunch uh, a filing. Uh, why? Why is this happening now? When all we were talking about was how a big deal this was for China, how this was going to suck a lot of money into Chinese tech, uh, how the decoupling was going to play out between the U.S. and China. Can you help me walk through the thinking as to why now this would happen? Well, that is the billion-dollar question. Um, on the optics, it does look very bad when you have the world's largest IPO locking in billions from global investors and getting halted on the eve. And to be honest, the sources we've been told Talk, talking to uh, bankers have been blindsided by this as well. Um, it seems that regulators are concerned about the systemic risk that Ant is posing right now, and they are asking the company to, to look further into uh, clearing some of those uh, systemic risks that they might pose to the financial system. If they are to list... I, is there any expectation that the business model could be significantly changed? I, that would be the implication of what is happening here, and as a result of which the valuation could change significantly off the back of that. Am I making the right assumption? I think that's a really good point. It's one of the things that's being discussed among investors as well right now, which is uh, when they went into this IPO, many people gave them a valuation that was lofty and comparable to tech firms. But with the regulatory crackdowns that we're seeing and how Chinese regulators are viewing it as a financial firm, it does call into question the growth potential for this company. And even when they do come back to the market again, whether people are willing to, the, to assign them those valuations again is all, all very questionable right now. Uh, Lulu, we have just about 30 seconds left. Uh, what happens now? What does Jack Ma have to do to make this happen? Well, right now, according to the company, they are, are still reviewing the process. There is really no clarity in terms of the timeline for when they might come to the market again. Um, so it's uh, pretty much uh, up in the air right now.